What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 45 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. Now I feel like I'm saying it every week, but this episode's gonna feature another one of my all-time favorites, so I'm pumped to show that off. And I feel like if I keep saying that, you know, it means the episodes are always getting better, so always a good thing for you guys. But let's kick off episode 45. First up, we have this gaming room in what appears to be an attic, judging by the slanted walls. But he's got its battle station off in the back and an awesome entertainment setup here on the right side. Taking a closer look now at that triple monitor setup, those are actually, despite them looking all the same, they're not. The middle and that right monitor are the Asus 144Hz 1ms gaming monitors. And that left one he said is an old 60Hz BenQ monitor. But with the bezels and the overall size of the monitors being relatively the same, it all fits and works together nicely and it gives you a ton of screen real estate, which is obviously kick-ass for gaming. Getting into some of the gear now, um, for his audio setup he has the A5 Plus speakers from Audio Engine. And you can also see in the corner there his choice of headphones are the Audio Technica M50s with a Mod Mic 4.0 which can let him use them for gaming pretty much while talking to his friends. His other peripherals include the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with red switches, along with that Zowie FK2 mouse sitting on top of the glorious PC Gaming Extended mouse pad. I think you utilize your desk space perfectly with a little corner there off to the left. You have your RGB lights around it as well. I'm a fan of the shelves you have, you know, some extra storage up there. And call me crazy, but I really like your artwork on the walls as well. Kind of creepy and geometric, yeah, but it, it really fits in with your setup's theme. On the right side of your desk, you have your PC. And taking a look inside at the specs, you're rocking an i7-4790K CPU on a Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard, 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaw X RAM, you also have some Corsair liquid cooling, and the NZXT Hue Plus for some interior lighting on that PC. But as I mentioned earlier, for this being like an attic and the way you turned it into this gaming setup here, I think you used your space really, really well. Uh, this is a definition of a great gaming setup. I like pretty much everything about this. There's no cables anywhere, no cons even point out. Great setup. Next, hold up. Stop the show. Damn. This is clean. For me... This is what dreams are made of. This setup is simple, it's black and white theme is awesome, not a cable in sight anywhere. People might think it's too bland, but I love it and that's all that matters. Taking a look at the desk, those are three 24 inch Dell monitors. I'll put the exact ones in the description down below. For the peripherals, the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with a Logitech MX Master mouse, a white Xbox One Lunar White controller for some contrast on that extended mouse pad, and take a look at those Edifier M3200 speakers. Very unique. This desk setup is just crazy, and I really like that custom wall art he made. Very, very cool. It's again, it's gonna fit in with your black and white setup even. It's got some personality, and the fact you made this makes this even more awesome. Speaking of awesome is your cable management. It is all housed nicely underneath the desk um, in this sort of like bridge here. So you're not gonna have any cables on the floor or hanging underneath the desk. Did a great job on that. Powering this dream of a setup uh, is this PC inside of the Fantex Entho Evolve case. He's got an i7-5820K CPU on an EVGA X99 Micro 2 motherboard, 32 gigabytes of this glowing RAM from a Vixer, a 970G1 graphics card, some more Corsair liquid cooling, and another NZXT Hue Plus for some added color and RGB lights inside that PC, but again, keeping it clean with that white and black build as well. Altogether, not too much else to say except for the fact that I absolutely love this. This is added to the list of one of my all-time favorites. It's super clean, very organized, white and black. Love it, man. Really great job. All right, now we have a setup from Greg. Yes, just Greg. And this is the definition of a modern setup. 
everything about this you know the, the led lights the rgb keyboard the floating ultra wide monitor it screams modern and i am loving this getting into some of that gear that monitor by the way is a dell u3415w ultra wide looks very nice on a little shelf off to the left he has his ps4 with some uh some plants you know can always appreciate some plants in a setup and below that, he has his speakers, which are the Audio Engine A2 Plus on this little uh, walnut wood block with a uh, phone right next to it mounted as well. Uh, big fan of the white and wooden appearance here. As for his peripheral, he's rocking the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard. And staying unbiased, he's pairing that with the Razer Abasys 2014 mouse. Now into that PC for his specs, inside the NZXT H440, he's got an i5 4690K CPU on an Asus ROG uh, 7 motherboard, the Asus ROG Striker GTX 760 graphics card, along with 16 gigabytes of RAM, but has a really nice clean white and red appearance on the inside. Overall, for how clean of a setup this is, I really like it. I love the white and wooden um, aesthetic throughout. And if you want to see more from Greg, I will put his YouTube channel in the description down below. Good stuff, man. Here we have some eye candy from YouTuber Styler with this setup. Another black and white setup, which I do not mind at all, and I think is really awesome. It's simple, it's modern, but it's still doing a lot at the same time, if that makes sense. I have seen it before, but I like the way you have that uh, backboard behind your monitor with the RGB light strip around it in white, of course. It kind of makes your monitor and just your whole gaming setup as a whole pop out and kind of stand out. Um, again, with that backlighting, uh, gives it a great boost in terms of visual aesthetics and is just something, uh, something memorable. His primary display is the LG 34UM95. It's a 1440p ultra-wide monitor from LG. I can vouch for it being a great monitor, so it's a good choice. And you can see off to the left, he has his 2013 MacBook Pro, which is actually powering this entire setup, believe it or not. To his peripherals, his mouse is the Logitech MX Master Mouse on a Razer Firefly mouse pad so he can have that white glowing effect. That's also sitting on top of an extended mouse pad as well with a Logitech wireless keyboard next to it. Nothing too special there. But underneath the desk, again, a great job with cable management. Zero cables anywhere in sight behind that backboard, which is going to make your setup look that much cleaner overall. So as I mentioned, I have seen a similar setup in the past, but this one really stands out to me due to your phenomenal job with the aesthetics. It is mainly white, but the way you have the black accents in some of your hardware, in the drawers underneath your desk, really just makes it stand out. And the white RGB strip around that backboard there makes everything pop. I think it's a really clean and organized setup. You went with the one monitor approach, which also does this great justice. Uh, just I don't know what else to say. This is a really cool setup. And wrapping things up, I'm not going to focus too much on the hardware here, but this is strictly an entertainment setup here, which he has his very own custom kind of wall mounted PC. This version of his HTPCs kind of straying away from the traditional setups that I usually show off, but I really like what he did here. This build is very unique. He has it vertically kind of mounted or sitting next to that massive TV, which is really cool. It's going to let him kind of show his artwork in a way off because let's be real. That is definitely artwork. I can always appreciate something that's homemade or DIY on this series, which is a big reason why I wanted to include this. With the peripherals in the little coffee table there, it lets him kick back on the sofa and relax. Uh, it's great for, you know, just browsing the internet or watching some movies. Probably not too much PC gaming here. So we could take this setup and appreciate it for what it is. And it never hurts to show something new off on the series. Alright guys, that'll do it for episode 45 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure to give your support by giving this video a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP, and also make sure to check the description down below. I will have all the products listed down there for you, as well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be considered for a future episode of Room Tour Project. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on any future videos I have coming out to the channel. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.